So here again is that NFA that I like so much that um, takes uh, as many A's as you want, zero or more A's, and then an odd number of B's. Um, and um, given that it's an NFA, I can, um, just like with DFAs, I can test it on a bunch of inputs. I have some inputs here that I uh, set up earlier and I can just run all of them and it tells me what it accepts and what it rejects. Um, I can also, if I close out of my multiple run and go into my editor, let's just add a lambda transition um, from Q0 to Q1. So I'm clicking on the transition, clicking from Q0 to Q1, let go, and I'm just going to hit enter or click outside somewhere and I get um, a lambda transition here. Um, if you look at this NFA, once I put a lambda transition there, it actually um, accepts strings that start with zero or more A's and then have zero or more B's after it. So it also actually accepts the empty string now. Um, and if we do a multiple run, and let's make it a bit bigger, um, and we can even click here and enter a lambda so we can see what's going on there, and let's try entering. Um, Let's just do a couple of strings we know won't be in there, like ABA or BBBA, right? Though BBBB by itself should be in there, right? Let's turn down the text size slightly. Um, and if I run all these inputs, you can see it accepts everything except the two that we expected to reject. So it's, it's really very nice.